I wanted to get a stand for this TV that also looked rustic and homey. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I wanted something for this TV to sit on, and I wanted it to be rustic and homey to give my little office here a little bit more friendly, cozy feel this winter. And so what better way to make it cozy than to add a fireplace in here? So I actually found this. It's by AmeriLife. And it is like a dresser, book stand, TV shelf with an electric fireplace. Now the electric fireplace does not come in this kit itself. It actually comes separately, completely shipped separately, because I think you would just remove the center cabinet part or the shelves in the middle and you insert the fireplace into that. So what I wanna do here is get it set up and see if it really does make this place cozy. Now I will say, hopefully you have a couple people to move this because it was 95 pounds, which is why I'm a little out of breath. I'm pretty tired, although I was able to move it by myself, but I brought it to where its final resting place is because I don't want to move it again. First thing I wanted to do was unpack it and lay everything out so that I could find all the pieces. Now, I do want to say here that they actually sent me the wrong one. It's the right model, but it was in the wrong colorway. And so I actually wanted the full barn wood version, but they sent it to me in white and so one of the things that you want to do is open it up take a peek and make sure that they sent you the right one because once you get started setting it up you own it all right it may not look like it but this thing has a ton of parts to it i'm not sure what this piece is maybe the top that'll look pretty good but like i said i've got a whole stack of mdf the particle board here so i'm gonna read through the instructions and start hopefully putting this thing together right here's kind of what it should look like all right let's get to it all right, setting this up is pretty similar to Ikea furniture. The material is pretty similar to the wood is covered with a laminate. There are different types of fasteners from the little wooden dowels that just go in. These didn't need to be glued in, apparently. There are also some regular wood screws that will hold the pieces together. And then there are also those little posts with the twist on clamps. So you have at least three different types of fasteners that you're going to use here. But if you have done Ikea furniture setup before, you're going to be pretty familiar with all of them. All right, guys, you are definitely going to want a power tool. I've got this cordless screwdriver here, and this thing is a beast because not only does it save you some time, but when you actually connect the screw into the board, it starts getting actually pretty tough to torque in there. So definitely, I would recommend having one of these before you start. All right, so when you're putting this together, you actually start from the inside out. You're starting with that middle cabinet area where the fireplace is gonna go and you're kind of building it out from there. So once you get that middle portion set up, then you put on the long lengthwise brackets here on the top and the bottom. Then you're gonna assemble the cabinet boxes on the outside. The back is actually going to be mostly a cardboard type of material. It's gonna be thicker than cardboard. It's that flexible wood. And so it's going to have a pretty basic um, affordable value style furniture construction, but it looks pretty good. And I definitely like the white finish. Like I said, it's not what I originally ordered, but it's kind of an antiqued white finish, which looks pretty good and pretty rustic. And I really did want the electric fireplace. I know this one will put out a little heat too, but it's kind of like a sound machine, something like that. It's just soothing and comforting. All right. I think I finally got this thing put together. I will not say that this was the easiest one to put together. It wasn't hard, but it's just kind of long. I mean, like even the little wood inserts here, kind of these cardboard or press board type inserts, they have even these little stops that go in here. So things like that, which make it a little harder or just put more steps on it are still pretty nice. They kind of make it a little more solid. Now, the piece that I was most interested in is this electric fireplace, which is actually pretty thin. It's only maybe four or five inches thick and slides up to the front and then just screws into the back there with two screws on either side, two on the sides and then two on the top. So just kind of slides in the back there and then you obviously have to plug it in. It also comes with a remote so you can control it from a chair while you're sitting down and enjoying it. So now what I want to do is get this moved over to where these were, the TV on top of it, and I'm going to kind of do this like Frogger so that I can do it by myself. All right, let's get this thing finished up. All right, I am done. Distressed white, I think is the color here. And it has kind of this barn wood top to it. It's pretty handsome looking. Looks a little like a farmhouse setup. Let me show you a few of the things that I really do like. This top piece is actually pretty thick. It's kind of like a countertop. So I really like that. It looks pretty good too. And that dark color looks pretty nice. This distressed white is kind of an ivory. It looks pretty nice. And we have these sliding barn door and there are little tracks on these hooks 
And then there are just little tabs on the back of the door there and they kind of keep it in this little channel on the bottom so they will slide back and forth. There's also a little magnet right here and a screw right here. So when you close them up, they will kind of stay there. It's not a lot of force, but it just kind of keeps them from riding to the middle and covering up that fireplace. These shelves in here are adjustable. You can just pull out those pins and move them down. So if you have things of different sizes that you want in here, you can certainly put them in there. Plenty of space for movie popcorn, candy, nerds. Swedish fish. I definitely like the little handles there. Same thing on this side too, you know, just a duplicate of the other side. We have a little opening up here. So if you have a DVD player or something like that, if you still use those things, I'm gonna put my laser disc player in here and there are holes in the back. So that's actually kind of nice too. So you can run cords through there if you need to. Now here's the fireplace as you can see. And as I mentioned, it's only maybe four or five inches deep. So the front here behind the glass, this little log is maybe only two inches deep. So it's just going to look like fire on the little screen back there. But up here, I think we have actually a heater and we have a control panel here, which is a duplicate of what we have on the remote. So I have gone ahead and plugged it in and we will just hit the power button right there and boom. Look at that. It says L3. So if I hit this little flame button here, I think we'll go to L2, L1, L0, I guess is the lowest level, off. Three is the highest, two, one. So it kind of looks cool. Kind of looks like a real fire. You got the leaping, licking flames in the back there. And then if I hit this thermometer, I think what we'll get here is the heater. So HH there, 65. So it looks like if I keep hitting it, we can scroll through some temperature. So it will put out, oh man, it's already putting out a lot of heat, 95, that's a lot. So zero, zero, I guess is off. And then there's also a little timer here. So it looks like I can set it for 30 minutes. So if you forget all of this stuff, I think it'll fire it off. Man, I could feel the heat shooting out of there. <laughs> all right, so if I hit one hour, two hour, three hour, four hour, five hour, six hour, seven hour, eight hour and zero hours. So you have a lot of settings there. So you could set it for an entire work day and then make sure it goes off before you leave work. So that's pretty cool. You know, overall, I like it. It's pretty deep. Obviously it's holding my TV here with plenty of room to spare. So I could put some stuff on the front there, but I think it looks nice. At a glance, it looks far nicer than I think the materials would suggest. I like that it's almost flush to the floor, kind of fills up everything gives it a little body, a little structure, a little thickness. And like I said, everything about it seems pretty sturdy. A solid hardwood piece of furniture is gonna be a lot more expensive, a lot heavier. Something like this, like I said, the whole thing here is 95 pounds and it's not hard to assemble. It's just a lot to assemble, but I think it's worth it. You know, can, can hold your TV and give you the ambiance of a fire. Kind of give you that little farmhouse look. So, hey, if you want to pick this up, I think it's a winner. You can get them in some different color variations too. So like a barn wood and I think a gray type of wood too. So you can probably find something that's going to fit your decor. This is going to make your life a little better. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper.